Hey guys, how's it going? We have a new trailer today, and it seems like an ambitious title of a film, but it's coming out next year, it says. But it's called The American Society of Magical... I'm not gonna say the word, I'm not trying to get cancelled, but it says it's from Focus Features, um, but we'll see. But I never even heard of this film coming out or anything of that nature, but uh, let's just see what this trailer's about. Welcome to the American Society of Magical Negroes. A little five second trailer in the beginning. I know you can feel their discomfort, Aaron. Watching you walk through a room full of white people is the most painful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to take you to a job interview. There's a recruiting class starting right now, and we got to get you in it. So it's like a magical a school or something? Society of Magical Negroes. I don't really understand it. It's easy to shed. I don't understand it. What's the most dangerous animal on the planet? Shark Nami? White people, when they feel uncomfortable. <laughs> white people feeling uncomfortable precedes a lot of bad stuff for us. Another controversial film. Discomfort every day. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I gotta see these comments afterwards. Updated, maybe like magical black people, or I guess <laughs> Same ring to it. First <laughs> does. His morale is far too low. Hey. Darn it. I was hoping there was a station right next to him. Oh, is this one smoking for? No. Yeah, it's actually fun and weirdly relaxing. It's like being a secret agent with none of the danger. Hey, I'm Lizzie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She's great. Yeah, she's hmm. great. You kidding? Come on, man. It's like a rom com or something. Funny. I know what you were doing going on about her. You're trying to set us up. No, no, no. That's not what I was doing. You cannot have a relationship with Lizzie now because if you don't put Jason first, everyone's magic will fail. So it looks like a, you know, a really deep romance story, but obviously with like a deeper meaning to it. But maybe it shouldn't be. I got a great plan to ask her out, but I'm gonna need your help. Do you think you could like work your magic? Hey, are you talking about me? Hey. Oh, wait, are you? Hmm. Stronger than magic. If you didn't let her go like I told you, if you'd interfere with her or your client, you could have your memory erased. You won't even remember she existed. Even though know, we might never see each other again, I need you to know that what we had was real. I'm curious to see how you gonna make it out of all this. Hmm. March 22nd. I want to understand what the director wants as the meaning of this film. <laughs> yeah, so I think nonetheless, this is going to be met with a lot of controversy. I see a recommendation here that it was a Key and Peele set, and I read some of the comments too. It's a bit crazy in there, um, <laughs> but hopefully this doesn't like spark some freaking back and forth stuff. I just want there to be peace. I want peace on earth to be here. It's Christmas time, man. Let's have a good time, but <laughs> I, I don't think that could happen in today's in today's society right now but uh i mean we could always hope for the best but i don't know i think uh film and hollywood need that right now i think there's too much animosity going on and i think hopefully it could be one film that could uh balance i guess <laughs> how split apart we are as a society i did a civil war reaction recently and uh that's another take on how hollywood is portraying what could go what could actually happen in the world but i don't know i don't really have much to say about this film if I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna watch it at all. I'm seeing here some people's stakes of it being a double standard, and if it was the other way, everyone would be like, you know, everyone would be canceled, right? So um, I could see some aspects, right? And I'm all for dialogue, I'm all for like conversation. So I think that's the one thing for me is like, I'm all about opinions and you having the right to have an opinion. And so um, living in the US, we definitely have um, limits as to obviously what you can say, but I'm all for free speech. I'm all for like having your own opinions out there, whether it's art, this director is putting his piece of art, his own message out, and it's our right to say we like it or not, right? So um, I think I'm all for that. So if you guys like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't, but uh, let me know what you think about this and check out my Civil War reaction if you want. I wanna see what you guys think of that trailer, that A24 film too, I love A24, love what they put out, but this one, not too sure if I'm gonna watch that, but. I will see you guys on the next one. Merry Christmas and cheers, guys. Have a good one.